Welcome to Easy Promos. In this session, we're going to go over the important setup features of the Pick Your Favorite Contest. Here we are in our Easy Promos demo page. And let's look for our Pick Your Favorite Contest. So here you can see the landing page of our Pick Your Favorite demo. And the most notable difference between this type of competition and a normal voting contest is the absence of the Enter button. In Pick Your Favorite, entrants are predetermined and you as the admin load all the entrants into the contest. What you're doing is inviting voters to come to the contest and vote on your entries. This is an example of what voters will see. In order to set this up properly, we're going to review the following. 1. Advanced Promotion Dates 2. Entries Configuration 3. Voting Configuration 4. Registry Form Contest Data and 5. Viral Content OK, moving to Advanced Promotion Dates. From the landing page, I find the Manage Your Promotions button. From the Promotions Management page, I select Active, being that my current promotion is active, and I go to the Edit button. Here, I scroll down to Promotion Dates and open up that tab. Pick Your Favorite is supported by Easy Promos Premium App. Once you have installed the app onto your Facebook page, you will be able to access, via your Edit Dashboard, an advanced date settings panel allowing you to manipulate various dates directly affecting your promotion launch time, registration times, and voting times. Remember back to when I showed you the landing page of the contest. There was no enter button. Here's how you set your dates properly for this to occur. Your end of publication date, start of registration date, and end of registration date need to be set to the exact same date and time effectively eliminating the registration process and thus any visibility of the enter button on your landing page. On a special note, consider the merits of a date setting strategy I'm about to show you. Let's walk through the dates. Publication date October 1st. End of publication date November 30th. So the competition or contest runs from October 1st to November 30th. I set my start of registration date and my end of registration date to the same date as my end of publication date to wipe out the entry button. Now I can do some strategy with my voting. I start my voting on October 15th. This lets me tell people about my contest without accepting votes for a period of 15 days so I can build awareness. Then voting lasts for one month until November 15th. From November 15th to November 30th my contest will show voting is closed and I can change my landing page artwork and text to reflect appreciation and thanks to the participants. I can display the winning entry and I can display the winner among voters. This presents a nice flow your participants can appreciate. And a final note on date setting. If you're running a pick your favorite contest and you see an entry button on your landing page, there is something wrong with the date settings. Go back, take a look, and ensure your end of publication date is the exact same date as the time you start your registration and end your registration dates. And lastly, if at any time I decide to change my end of publication date, let's say I want to move it to December 10th, then I also have to change my start date of registration to December 10th and my end of registration date to December 10th as well. Now let's move on to entries configuration. This is where we configure how photos and videos being voted on will look. I have checked off the boxes that you need for the Pick Your Favorite contest. Fans only, show current users, make entries public, Anonymous entries. You select this otherwise your own personal info will be displayed and you don't want that for this type of contest. I also like to offer up random display for entries, just my preference. Okay, on to voting configuration. I've selected the boxes that are essential for pick your favorite. Make entries votable. Yes. Only fans can vote. Yes, you want them to like your page. Make public users who voted. This is optional. A word on the number of votes per user. Each voter can vote only one time per entry. However, you can allow or disallow them in voting multiple times in the contest. You use that selection here. Okay, our next step, which is registry form contest data, is not unique to pick your favorite. And I thought it would be helpful to review. In this case, we've decided upon a video contest with comments. To make it a video contest, you add text to the video field, such as enter your favorite video or enter your video here. In the comments box, you place description of video. 
This activates these fields to be available to you when you later enter your videos into the contest to be voted on. You can run a video contest with comments and you can run a photo contest with comments or you can run a video contest by itself, a photo contest by itself, or a comments or essay type contest by itself, but you cannot run a video with photo contest in the same contest. Okay, one last area to point out, and that is viral content. Scroll down to the area that says Get New Votes Post. This gives your voters the option to tell others to vote. Simply fill in the message you want them to be able to share on Facebook and Twitter here and here and for Twitter here. So you have the five main areas you need to pay attention to when creating a Pick Your Favorite contest. Always make sure you select the Update button here after any changes made inside the Edit panel. Okay, if you're asking yourself, how do you add entries to your contest given you just spent this time eliminating the Entry button, go back to the main dashboard, locate View Entries, click and you will see a list of entries, or in your case a blank page. From here, you click on Create a New Entry. Here you simply fill out the form, enter your name, paste the URL to your YouTube or Vimeo video, and type or paste your description, check this box for terms and conditions, and press finalize. Repeat this for each video that you are entering into your contest. If you wish to edit or delete an entry, you do so with these buttons here. Now to wrap up this video, let's check our work. Here is the live contest. We see there's no entry button. That's great. Let's check the view and vote for entries. As we scroll down, we see their title and their description, and nowhere do we see personal information, which is exactly what we want. If the voter wants to share this entry on Twitter or Facebook, they simply click one of these two buttons. And in the pop-up is the pre-populated text you provided for them when you completed the Get Votes section of the viral content in the admin panel. You should be good to go. Thanks for watching.